navigating a 350 pound power chair around Toronto can be, well, just as tricky as it sounds, especially when the businesses you're trying to go to aren't accessible. And now one TikToker is highlighting what that experience is like for her. Come have a bougie, bougie dinner with me at Blue Blood Steakhouse inside of Casa Loma. This is an Access by Tay accessibility review. Before we went to dinner, we... So that's Taylor Lindsay Noel, and she uses her social media account to review Toronto's top bars and restaurants based on food, service, and accessibility. And she's our guest this morning. Good to meet you. It's so nice to talk to you this morning. Uh, what accessibility issues are you facing most often in the city? Unfortunately, the most common things are not having ramps to enter the establishment or the bathrooms tend to be a very big issue. They don't have push to wave or open um, doors. The sink heights are not appropriate. They have barriers around the toilets. It's, it's a plethora of things and it's quite common, unfortunately. After you visit these restaurants, you share your review on social media. How do restaurants typically react to your reviews? Well, after I visit, I always send them an email to let them know what went wrong. And I like to give them a little bit of a pre-warning. And I say, you know what, this is the things that were amazing. And these are the things hopefully that you can work on to make the place a little bit more inclusive for all. And usually they have a fairly good response. And I love to include that when I post it in my TikTok, if I do hear from them, because I want this to be a collaborative effort. Moving forward to make the world more exclusive requires it to have attention from people who are attending the restaurants or event spaces, but also the participation of the people who manage and own these facilities. Taylor, you bring up Washington, it's a really important one because what people might not realize is even though the restaurant will be accessible, oftentimes the washroom is not. And they'll even have a special stall, but you can't get to it. It's either down a steep flight of stairs or it's too, yes. it's too narrow. And you know, what's your response to businesses say, it'll cost too much to change it? I say that, you know, that's not really a great excuse because if you're going to open an establishment, you have to think about longevity. And the reality is that at some point, we're all going to need accessibility in our lives. Mm -hmm. We are all going to get older. We are not immune to those creaky, achy pains when you become the elderly or anything could happen to you. And I always say to people, wouldn't it suck if you, God forbid, had an accident and wouldn't be able to access the places that you once loved. Being proactive instead of reactive is how we should be approaching accessibility. What kinds of messages and responses have you received from people in the community about the reviews that you're doing and the videos that you're showing? Because that's the key is seeing the evidence. I think when people see something through video, it has a far greater effect than it would if they were just reading about it online. And so the feedback has been absolutely phenomenal. And it's been a range of people because it's been new moms who have strollers and aren't able to go up a flight of stairs. It's people in wheelchairs. It's caregivers who have never known, where do I take my clients or my patients? And people who care about their grandparents and want to take them out for a nice dinner, but don't know where it's safe. Mm -hmm. And knowing that my vid videos are helping such a wide range of people, it's, it's, it's so, it's amazing. I'm, I'm blown away. Uh, restaurant owners around the city are starting to recognize you. What's that experience been like? It's been very interesting. I, before all of this, I very, just, you know, nobody really knew who I was. But now when I go out, people always come up to me. And it's really cool to know that my videos are touching people and reaching them in a really real way. But uh, I'm still getting used to it. Taylor Lindsay Noel is an important name to know and to remember. <laughs> and I hope we see each other out in the city of Toronto. Thanks for opening up our eyes to what needs to be changed in the city. Thank you so much for allowing me to have this space today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.